Hi everybody. Welcome to Chat and Craft with Lorraine. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Warner, New Hampshire, and I'm coming to you today from my daughter's house in Wilmington, Mass. I um, have a fun fold I'd like to share with you today, an accordion fun fold. Um, and I did put the measurements in the description already. I don't expect that you will make it along with me, but I thought um, it's easier than Facebook is making it hard to go back in and add that later. So I put it in now. Um, you can find me on all kinds of social media, um, Facebook, YouTube, um, Pinterest, and I have a blog all at Chat and Craft with Lorraine, uh, some variation of that name. So I'm using um, new ear pods today. I hope you can hear me just fine. Um, I'd, I'd love it if you'd let me know if you're watching today so I can say hi. And if you're um, catching it on the replay, let me know that too, because I uh, would love to say hi then as well. So this is what the card looks like that we're going to be uh, making today. It's called an accordion fun fold. Um, some people call it a WV fun fold because you can see this part makes a W, this part makes a V, um, but it's definitely an accordion fun fold. I used um, the stargazing paper on this one and the stargazing paper is um, currently on sale, 15% off, as is the other paper we're going to use in um, in this, the next card. Oh, good, Jan, I'm glad you can hear me. Um, and I wanted to let you know that I'm doing a paper share with all the papers that are on sale, 15% off, so that helps keep the cost of the paper share down a little bit. And it's... Um, on sale are all the papers on page 129, 130, and page 131 in the big catalog, plus the online paper that um, I'm going to show you today. I think it's called Hello Irresistible. That's also on sale. So you would get a quarter of a pack of 13 different packages of paper for $46, and that includes shipping right to you. If you're interested in the paper share, please let me know by 7 p.m. tonight because I'm going to put my order in tonight and um, probably expedite that order so I can get those papers back quickly, cut them up, and get them out to you. Okay, so let's get started with this card. Um, I just love these papers. Orange happens to be one of my favorite colors. I love it. Um, and I wanted to just show the stars were hard to find, but I did find some on my Alpha Best stamp set. And the happy birthday comes from something fancy. And we're going to use uh, something from that something fancy again on the next card. So the card base for this card, you can see it's pretty long. It's cut a little differently than usual. Um, we're going to use the 11 inch length of the paper and we're going to cut it at five and a half. Normally we would cut it at four and a quarter and get two card bases out of one piece of cardstock but today we'll only get one card base out of it. So five and a half by eleven and then this leaves you your three inch piece uh, that you need three by six. So you can get that out of it right there and save that extra piece for something else. So the first thing we're going to do with the three by six inch piece is score it on the long side at three inches. That's going to be the V part of the card. I don't know where my phone folder is in this mess. So I'll just use my fingernail, but that's the V part. Okay, and now I'm going to put my arm out on my trimmer and try to keep this in view. Now with the long side of this paper across the top, we're going to score it four times. We're going to score it at one and three quarters. 
three and a half. So it's basically every one and three quarters, three and a half. Five and a quarter. I feel like I'm really shaking this camera. I'm sorry. Five and three quarters and seven. Okay. And that's all we need to do for scoring and cutting. And now uh, this piece will be the inside of the card, and it's a little bit smaller than usual. Um, it is only four inches wide rather than four and a quarter. So um, when we get to this piece of basic white for the inside, it's five and a quarter by three and three quarters. Okay, so we're going to start by uh, folding on the right hand most score line first. Give it a good burnish and then back to this one. And we're just going back and forth to get that accordion part. Okay, so it goes like that. So I, um, as I mentioned, I use, I'm going to use a piece of paper from the Hello Irresistible. I have breakfast on my thing, I think. Um, pack of paper. Don't know if I have another piece in here. Yes, this is the one that I'm cutting up. And um, it's going to use the whole piece of six by six, except for this little bit on the bottom, which we might put on the inside of the card. We'll see. So um, I would turn this and measure five and a quarter, and then I can get my four panels from it that are one and a half inch wide. So I need four of these, and I just messed up the order they were in, I think. Let's see if I can get them back in order so that the pattern works. One. Okay, there we go. Two. Three, four. Okay. So these are going to get um, adhered in, and you might want to keep them in the same order that you cut them in because then it lines up the pattern very nicely, even though um, part of the pattern will be covered up by the three by six inch accordion piece, but I like to know it matches. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put all four of these in. And it leaves a nice little border. Thanks, Jan. I'm glad you like it. All the way around. Okay. So that's the accordion part. Now this part, we're going to decorate um, these two sides. Usually we have the fold so that it's open. We're going to decorate it so it's closed. So tell me if you like this um, paper on this side for here. And then we're going to put this on top. And we're going to do some layering leaves. Or if you like that side. Which one do you prefer? So this shape that I have the hello stamped on comes from the Something Fancy dies. And uh, I think it's the smaller one here. Yeah. So I just cut that out of a piece of basic white. And then I'm going to use a new stamp set to me. This is Layering Leaves. And I love the font. And 
and the leaves. And it has a coordinating punch that goes with it. The bow punch. Bow, bow, bow. I don't know. It has a punch that goes with it. All right. I think I'm going to put this one, the hello, on the more subtle pattern. And I'll just put this one right there. I like it because it's kind of the opposite of this. This has the white flowers and this has the lost lagoon. I mean leaves, white leaves and lost lagoon leaves. If you want this one on the leaf side, Jan, you're going to have to speak up soon. Okay. So let me show you how we're going to make some um, leaves. I, I have some right there. I'll use those on another card because I want to show you a couple of things about these leaves and the punch. So I'm going to start on a piece of soft sea foam. This paper has um, soft sea foam in it as well as um, Lost Lagoon and I think Pretty Peacock goes with it pretty well too. So I'm going to use Lost Lagoon, I mean soft sea foam ink on soft sea foam paper. And this ink is really light. It's hard to even see it on the stamp, but it's there. Okay, and now I'm going to stamp it in. And I should have said I looked at the orientation of the leaf on the punch before I stamped it. Because um, if I had stamped it this way, my paper wouldn't fit very well. So I'm going to put it in this way and get it lined up without taking it off camera or sticking my head in your camera. Okay, so I have it closed down just a little bit to kind of hold the paper in place while I move it around a little. Okay, so there's one set of leaves. Now on a white piece, Oh, and I just wanted to say, I'm not going to use this white piece, but I hope you know the post-it note trick that if you don't have enough um, paper to hang on to, if I tried to put this in, it would be hard to line it up just right, but I can hang on to it with a post-it note and then move it around. So don't forget about that trick. Now I'm going to stamp the same leaves in Lost Lagoon on a piece of white. Lost Lagoon on white. Again, I'm going to go sideways because that's easier to put it in. And next, I'm going to use, there's a um, stamp that fills in the leaves. So I'm going to get that one and I'm going to use some soft sea foam on that. And I'm going to line that up because it's a clear stamp. I can see through Move that up just a little bit and I can line it up. Hopefully I can do this without being directly over it. Yep. And get a little bit more color on those leaves that way. It's easier to see in the punch also. There's that one. And then um, you see you get a little, you get a second leaf out 
Let me put something dark behind that. We get a second leaf out and that goes with these little flowers here. And I have seen some people be able to stamp right onto those. I do not do such a great job with that. I have a hard time stamping right onto that. And I want my flowers to be a little bit darker. So I'm going to use um, Lost Lagoon ink. No, I'm not using Lost Lagoon. I want to use Pretty Peacock on a piece of Pretty Peacock and then punch it out. I can try, whoops, where did I put that little, I was just going to say I can try to stamp right on it. Oh, here it is. I'll try, but I am not, I tried it before I went live and I wasn't so great at it. But if you can do it, it is a good little trick. Yeah, I didn't line, it doesn't line up quite right for me. Yeah, so I'm going to do it this way. But I have seen other demonstrators be quite successful. Oh, and I didn't look at my punch and I think this is backwards. So now you can see I can't really get that piece of paper in there. I need it to be over here. I could cut that off and then put it in but I think this is a little quicker and easier. Oh, I want it to be going down. Oh. Only when you're live do these things happen. Okay. Here we go. So now I can put that in right here. and punch that out. Okay, so I think we have all of our building blocks for this piece now. So I'm going to put it on the other side. Yeah, I think it's okay that they don't match. I'm going to go different. I like all the patterns. So these are just two and three quarter inch squares. And then this is my, hello. Okay. And now I'm gonna use some glue dots cause they'll be less messy than glue squeaking out on me. I'm gonna use some glue dots to put these down and let's see what order. I know I want the, oops, I didn't quite, okay, there we go. I know I want this on the top. Oh, I should have played with how I put that down. Do you think I can get that to come up? I don't think so. Well, maybe we'll put our leaves like this. We might layer them this way. I should have paid a little bit more attention to where I was putting that. All right, that will be all right. I'm going to go like that. So I'm going to put this one down first and I'm going to pick up some of my glue dots on the leaves. go. Now glue dots aren't going to give you any wiggle room so when they're down they're down. But that's all right. We will go with it. Okay, and this one. Oh it's stuck to my finger. 
So I have some extra room. It's okay if it comes off because this is going to be on the front of my card. So I think I'm going to put it this way a little bit. And then this last one, I don't know if a glue dot will fit behind these. Let's see. Oh, I think it will. Okay. I can't get this one off. This one is sticking out just a tad, so I'm just going to roll it behind a little bit. Tuck it right behind there. Okay. And now I want a little bow on that, but I don't think I want it white. I think I'd like a little color to it. So I'm going to use my um, soft sea foam blend to color some white baker's twine. And I'm going to put piece of scrap paper under there. Oh, I want to use the brush end. It's much easier. And I'm just going to pull this. There we go. And get this colored. may have done way too long a piece, but I'll save some of it for something else. It dries pretty quickly. Okay. So that's how to get baker's twine in any color you want. Just use your Stampin' Blend. You can do that on ribbon. You can do that on lots of embellishments. Okay. And I think I want that right on there. I've covered up a little bit of my hello, but I think that will be okay. I'm gonna use a glue dot again. I'm going to roll the glue dot just a little bit with my thumbnail and then pick it up right on the knot and put that down right there. Okay. I'll probably trim those but let's wait until we get it on the front of our card okay oh i just pulled that okay let's do this inside piece so this is five and a quarter by three and three quarters, and I want a sentiment on that. And it's going to say, what does it say? So happy to celebrate you. Okay, so happy. Now I'm using my grid paper right there to get that sentiment straight on those red lines. Whoops, I could turn it over there. So I can pick it up. I want it to be straight when I pick it up on my block. There we go. And I'm going to use the last lagoon for this. Okay. And so I'm doing this first on purpose because this will determine where I put my 
second piece in. Okay, so, so happy to celebrate you. So now I'm gonna make sure that this piece covers that up when the card is closed. Okay, but I haven't glued this down yet. I always wait just in case I make a mistake. It's a good thing all pieces of paper have two sides. Okay. So now I'm going to put a little tear and tape inside this little V piece. If you give that a little burnish with your bone folder, that release paper will peel off a little bit easier. Okay. So I want this to be, I'm gonna line it up on my grid paper so it's square. And I want it to be square here on this side. And I wanna make sure I'm covering up the sentiment that's inside. And I don't want to be tipped up or down. So I'm going to go like, and now I'm going to push that down right there. And then push the top down. And there we have that fold. Now I thought maybe I would put this down here. I don't know. I don't, it's not big enough to do top and bottom unless I only do half on the top and bottom, but I think that looks kind of funny. So I think I'll just put a piece right like that. So it's three and three quarters there. So that would be three and a half that I want this at. Whoops. My blade is, there we go, not in right. I'm gonna put this on the bottom. So we have a little more space on the bottom than on the top. I could put some leaves up there if I wanted to. On this other one, I put some stars to fancy it up a little bit. And I'm just gonna put a couple of uh, white, white opaque back gems, adhesive backed opaque gems. I did, um, this one is actually colored with the soft sea foam. You can see it's a little bit darker. It doesn't show up too much, but I think I will color two more of those. It just takes a little bit of that stark white out of there. And put these. My glue dot is not working there. We're going to have to do something else. Put these over here. I need my take your pick tool. And I'm going to put one. I guess I'll put the other one right there. Okay, and my glue dot is not holding that down. So we're going to try another little trick. I'm going to put a little bit of liquid glue on the back of this as well as on my paper right there. Whoa, that was a lot of liquid glue. And then I'm gonna put my block on top of it to hold that down. And that's gonna to have to dry for a couple of minutes. But that's basically how you make the accordion fun fold. You can call it a W 
V fold, and you can see why right there. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's easy and fun. It shows off your designer series paper, and I love it. So don't forget, if you're interested in a paper share for the 13 papers that are on sale right now, 15% off, uh, you can message me or email me or leave me a message here by 7 o'clock tonight. It's $46, including shipping, for the paper share. I hope you have a great Sunday. I hope you'll make this card. And um, thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.